My presentation, it's in English language, but uh, I would like to apologize for the organizer. I would like to go ahead and do it in Arabic language. I'll start this page only with uh, English. Can you see my name is Bint Matar? In my life there, I had many opportunities, alhamdulillah, and I was lucky enough to change many things in my life, which affected positively the surrounding environment. And when I say environment, I mean human being as well as other type of other type of uh, other elements of environment. My name is Miriam Mohammed Matar Ahmed, and if one of my mission, I have my plan since 2000 till 2050. I have my plan and I know what I have to do. And so far, I was lucky enough to achieve all my plan on the same deadline, if not earlier. And when one of my plan in 2000, before 2050, if I will be alive, that all our names in the official documentation will be changed to be called Miriam bint Muhammad bint Fatima, where our mothers will be mentioned as well. So I would like your support to start from today to make sure our mother name will be mentioned there. And maybe some of you will not agree, which I respect. But I believe our mother, she deserved that, that we should be named if we will change anything in history. As Emirati women, I go and I meet lots of other women from different parts of the world. And one of the main topics which will be started the discussion with is the competition between female and male and how they are not well treated or not taken care of. While, again, I'm talking personally, on my personal level as an Emirati woman, we were lucky enough to be in, in Zaid's country. And we were so much lucky to have a good gentleman surrounding us. So I would like today through this positive uh, conference and forum to pass a very well-defined thank you message to all good gentlemen in my life who had the biggest support and biggest effect on me being where I am. I do admit my mother had played a big role in developing my skills, especially personal and behavior wise, while my father and my brother, my husband, my leaders, they had the biggest effect on other dimension of my career development, especially in research and leadership. <clears throat> in 2006, I was honored, I was honored enough. In 2006, I was honored enough to be the first Emirati 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 to be the first ولكن ثقة ولي الأمر أعطتني كثير أعطتني كثير من الدعم أني أنا أقدر أكمل هذا المكان واحدة من الأشياء اللي, اللي كانت وايد بوزيتيف وكانت كثير إيجابية في حياتي وساعدتني أني أنا أقدر أحقق شيء في هذا المكان لما بديت ما كانت ولا حرمة في وزارة الصحة عندها منصب قيادي كانت وحدة بس دكتورة هاجر, الق... هاجر الحوسني ماسكة الأمومة والطفولة لما جيت أنا أخذت المكان كثير من الخوات اللي كانوا موجودات بيني وبينكم أنا كنت حتى أتخيل أن كثير منهن كانوا يستحقون هذا المكان بدالي بس ما قلت هذا بالصوت العالي ولكن ضمنت أني أنا عطيتهم الفرصة أني يوم أنا إن شاء الله بترك هذا المكان أضمن إماراتيات باجيات النساء يأخذون هذا المناصب فبالتالي كأي واحد يحصل له الفرصة أو أن يكون في منصب قيادي لازم يضمن أن يعطي الآخرين حقوقهم. Any one of us, whenever he will be in any leader position, leadership position or uh, challenge, he have to make sure that what he got, he will maintain it and he will keep it for the rest of his team. This is what happens. So before I leave the ministry, I made sure there were 13 women in a leadership position in Ministry of Health. And now they are doing that, alhamdulillah. And even 
Some of them, they are performing much better than their colleagues, male colleagues in, in, in ministries. In 2009, alhamdulillah, again, I was promoted by His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed, to be the first woman as a director general in Dubai government, member of the executive council. It was another big challenge, and all of them were male surrounding me. What I noticed, unfortunately, in our environment, our leaders, they believe so much in women, but not all Muslims, they believe in women. And always they try to put you in a challenging position, only to try to bring you down. But believe me, as a woman and as an Emirati, and with all the positive messages I got today from my, our previous speaker, I decided to continue. It was not easy at all. It was too difficult. Every day I need to face a new challenge. But again, with the team, with the insist I was insisting that I will be able to do it, and I've done it. One of the occasions where I will never forget when I was the Director General of Dubai in the Community Development Authority, in one of the meetings where we need to go and finalize um, a decision about the orphans in Dubai, especially those who are with not known families. Uh, so when we went to the meeting and in the meeting, all of them were male. I was the only female in that place. I thought I am lucky, but unfortunately, when I sat on that place and we start to discuss about a very sensitive topic, I saw the, uh, the uh, let's say, unhealthy communication. The way the other male in the meeting were talking, they were emphasizing on one subject indirectly that these children are in the street or these ch children, they don't have parents simply because a woman, she did a mistake with another male who is only male, not a gentleman, and she ended up having this baby. And no one of them criticized that male who was the reason of this baby to come. The lady won't be able to do it alone. I'm not defending the not good behavior from some women, but when we talk about a human being in any environment, we shouldn't criticize women or men. We have to criticize the situation and make sure to find a solution, how we can make sure things can go in a better way. People will have their integrity in a better way, especially the new children. So when we had this discussion, I had to stop it somewhere. But I have to do it in a very polite way, which doesn't conflict with our uh, culture, I mean, uh, our culture is uh, sensitive, but we're very well defined. It's built on a, a years of experience from our grandfathers. So what I've done, I didn't stop the discussion by asking them, stop it, don't blame the women, don't talk about that lady, uh, please feel sorry for these children. I asked one of the guys there, I said, can you imagine yourself one day where the evil was surrounding you? And you found a very pretty lady in one corner of a place where nobody can see you. And you've done that mistake. And this boy was your son. What you will be doing for this boy? Would you sit and blame him? Or when he will grow up, he will go to school and he will be in the same school of your son. They look like each other. And God forbid, if something happened, the DNA test should be done. And they knew that he's your son. Where you, at what time you will feel shy? You will feel shy that you left your son to be in such position in not knowing who's your, his father or to feel shy that you were the reason of this big mistake in life. So the discussion was going in a different way. And before I leave, I did, although I was in charge of that meeting, I didn't ask them to follow my decision. I said, let's have a break for half an hour, and we'll come back, and we will see how we will tackle this, tackle the subject. Proudly saying today, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, we have all the children in Dubai city are, alhamdulillah, in, in a different, uh, they are under umbrella of a policy and procedure which protect them from everything in environment, protect them in, in, in the community, and they are living like any other child in the school with well-known name, with a particular male or a family where they are nominated by their parents' name. 
not, uh, not the biological parents, somebody will take them and adopt them and they will be in a good condition. What makes me, what bring me in this subject and I'm emphasizing on, again as a woman, we in the Arab world and uh, lots of other women, they always ask for women's right, women's right. I'm against that. We don't want women's right and we don't want to be equal to our, to, be, to get all the privilege like our male brother. We would like to be treated well, respected, and to be given what we need, not extra. As a woman, I'm proud to be in Emirat, where the woman is protected, well looked after, and she has a great support from all the gentlemen in Dubai and UAE. And I'm talking about Dubai itself, because where I had all type of support started with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed Allah So as a woman, still we want somebody to open the door for us. Ladies first, as a woman, I still want to have the two month maternity leave. As a woman, I still need to take uh, my, uh, I still like to be as a woman. I, I don't know, I'm, uh, I would apologize that I'm not tr I'm not able to focus very well because just now I had uh, I met one of the speaker which uh, uh, affected me so much uh, I don't know what his name شو اسمه نعم دكتور أحمد عمران God bless him you know and when I want to talk about my achievement I feel they are nothing in front of somebody like Mohammed Imran. Um, والله يعني أنا يوم سمعت كلامه حسيت كل اللي سويته واللي وصل له لا يعنى شيء جدام اللي هو سواه الله يحفظه واللي وصل له يعني ما قاعدة أروم أركز صراحة في ال speech مالي. yeah as a woman it's there is it's a very big challenge to be a woman especially in this part of the world with all the positive and negative part of it as a woman it's a big challenge to be a daughter in nine uh, in a family with nine uh, siblings we were five sisters and four brothers and it was another challenge that we were uh, i was number five in my family our elder brother his name is ali he was like si sayyid at home but we were uh, blessed enough to have our father he was always reminding my brother ali ali madam ni hay malik khas fil banat madam ni hay ana abuhum so we were so much protected at the home under uh, the wing of my father. So it was a challenge again to make sure that you deserve that trust, that you deserve that protection. So we had to do our best to deserve his support and whatever our father gave it to us. Again, this is another challenge to be a sister of a brother called Ali, Habibi, Allah yihfadah. Now I understand why he used to protect us. كل شيء كان عند عيب. Everything عيب 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 الله يحفظه. Especially after my father he passed away. الله يرحمه. Ali was so tough more than my father. Before I get married and I have my daughter, she is seven years old, Sarah. I didn't understand how precious is your your how precious is uh, how difficult it's to take care of a precious things in your life like your sisters your brother and now my daughter now i give my brother ali all the excuse when he used to tell me maryam ayb ma istwi tadharin fi television ma istwi sirin rada ayb 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 ahin araft lesh kan yqul li ayb huwa bitariqta kan yahawil yahmini fi dayta min wayd ashya kanat mawjuda fi almujtama wa kan al asab min dhalik the more challenging part of my relation with my brother ali that i deserve again his trust I asked him to open a door, one of the door for me. And he opened it and he was watching me, following me in each step. And Alhamdulillah, very soon, he opened both doors for me and he asked me to fly away. To fly, not only to walk in, 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 the, in, the, in the career and in my, in my way. Um, again, there is another challenge to be as a wife. As a woman, I was... Proudly telling you, my, my husband, he is number 27 of my uh, proposal. So I got 26 proposal, and Karam, he was number 27. He was lucky. Do you think that? <laughs> I always tell him that you are lucky that I said yes to you. But believe me, I was the, yucky, I was the luckiest woman 
in the world to have Karam as my husband. Because of that, I really um, tell him thank you very much for all your support to me. When he came, the previous proposal, whoever comes to propose for me, I was asking them one condition. I, I used to tell my uncle, خالي أنا ما عندي مانع برأي يعني إذا أنتوا راضيين عليه وريال خير أنا ما عندي مانع أنتوا موافقي بس سألوا إني يرضى في عقد الزواج يكتب وقفني عند تكمل دراستي ولا ما خلاني أشتغل طلاقي يطيح منه الثلاثين ستة وعشرين ولا واحد فيهم قبلوا كرم في ديت الله يحفظه في كل جرأة بقول في ديته وافق على هذا الشيء وهذا مرة ثانية أقول أنا أشكر كل ريال وأتكلم عن ريال مو بذكر إخواني خواتي تعرفون الفرق بين الذكر والأنثى ما الذكر في حيوان ذكر وفي إنسان ذكر ما في بكتيريا ذكر وفي بكتيريا أنثى ولكن الرجل هو الرجل بمعنى كلامه في ثقة للمرأة دعم للمرأة احترام للمرأة ويعطيها فبالتالي أوز So we have to say thank you for all the gentlemen in our life. Because of that, I always insist that as a woman, we have to be so grateful with all the positive things in our life. We have to be grateful for all the gentlemen who surrounded us in our life, and they were the main reason of our success. Again, as a mother, this was another challenge. I, I was blessed enough with my in-laws. يعني كثير من البنات يقولون لا احنا من تزوجنا ببيت رواحنا اجلس ببيت روحي ولازم انا اكون راعيه البيت خواتي اللي تسوي شيء مو بانسانه ذكيه لازم تكونين زوجه ذكيه there is big difference between a smart wife and wife full stop to be a smart wife you have to make sure that you are smart enough in your social life i was smart to make sure that i don't want a private house i want to live with my in-laws Simply because I know that I very soon I'll go abroad and continue my study in genetic research and genetic disease. So I was blessed with my in-laws. My, my mother-in-law, she takes care of my daughter, Sarah, and she makes sure to teach her all the good things. One of the things uh, which I'm also proud of, my daughter, Sarah, again, she's seven years old. مرة كنا رادين أنا كنت متأخرة عليها في المدرسة أجيبها يوم كنت رادة إجازة من اليابان واحد من الإخوان قال لها سارة وين أمك؟ قالت ما أدري بها وايد بطت علي اليوم تتكلم مثل العيايز مثل الدوتر الترمسة <تصفيق> قال شافني الله يذكره بالخير مروان قال لي مريم بنتك ترمس أحس غبار يظهر من حلجة <تصفيق> يقول هاي كل بطت علي من زمان ما سامعينها أنا كثير فخورة الحمد لله باللي الله وفقني فيه من ناس ال والرجال في حياتي الحمد لله وخاصة كبنتي هذا كان another challenge um, I have to go frequently to Japan for my PhD I'm doing my PhD in genetic disease for the past two years and seven months so I have to go so frequently to, uh, to Japan and one of the trips uh, which um, again divide the whole plan of my uh, study when I came back it was the first time I go away uh, I came back to home and my daughter, she was calling me Khalo, uh, auntie. It was so painful. She, came, she, she told me, Khalo Yeti, it was so painful that time that my daughter, she called me auntie. And when my mother-in-law, she came in, she said, Umaya, it was so painful. At that time, I decided to make sure I give my daughter the right amount of support and all the social bond which she deserved. it. Believe me, it's not easy to be a woman. In every corner, there is a big challenge. But you have to be, make sure that you acquired all the skills which will help you to go ahead with that, inshallah. Being a woman, uh, this is another big challenge. I, I did my leadership from Harvard in uh, leadership. And during the course of leadership, there was no single lecture about leadership in women or women with leadership. And through, through my career, uh, I noticed there is a big difference of my decision. And all those decisions, let's say the wrong decision which I took in life, especially in career, was related to my period, to my menstruation. As you know, as any woman, she will have five days to seven days per month under the control of estrogen. Estrogen is a hormone which the lady will have it in a very high level and she will have a period. للأسف في لما أخذت تدريباتي ودراستي في القيادة ما في ولا 
أه ولا محاضرة من المحاضرات تكلمت عن القيادة والمرأة أو المرأة في المناصب القيادية وأنا من خلال التجربة اللي مريت فيها في التسع سنوات اللي طافت لاحظت أن كل القرارات اللي ندمت عليها خدها ونعفية الدورة الشهرية أنتوا كلكم أخواني وكلكم ما شاء الله مثقفين متعلمين يعني اليوم أنا أوجه دعوة لكل رجل أو لكل رجل وخاصة اللي متزوجين الأولاد اللي عندهم خوات في البيت لازم يراعون المرأة المرأة في أول أيام من الدورة الشهرية أول يوم قبل الدورة وأول يومين من الدورة ما تكون هي يعني مثل ما يقولون قومي كنا راكبنها يني شو بلاش كل شيء الضاربين حتى المشاكير الضاربينهم ولاحظوا أن أغلب الطلاقات تستوي يوم المرأة في الفترة الدورة الشهرية فبالتالي أنتوا كأزواج وكأخوان أتمنى أنكم تراعون خواتكم في هذا الوقت عرفوا أنها مب تحت سيطرتها كل شيء تحت سيطرة الهرمونات وأنا اليوم in through this gathering I would like to pass a message for all women in leadership or in a training or in a position where they need to take a decision please make sure to be aware and full oriented about your menstruation if you are in the first day, second day or third day try to postpone any decision Try to take it as soon you will feel you are much better and the bloating is less in your body. So again, see as a woman, it's a big challenge. In every corner, there is a new challenge for you. And as a woman, you have to be like a drop of water. You have to be so soft, nice voice. I do remember till today, we were not allowed to raise our voice at home. أذكر لي اليوم أمي كان عندنا لين الحين عيب نحط ريل على ريل قدام حد عود في العمر يالس إذا أمي دخلت لين الحين إحنا نوقف كنا في مدرسة وأبوي وكان عيب عندنا البنية يرفع صوتها ينسمع في البيت يعني مرة أختي واحدة منها نرفع صوتها أميتها قالت لي شو بلاك بتموتين حد ضربك حد سوى قالت لا هاي ما تسوي قالت عيب البنية صوتها ينرفع في البيت. يعني حتى مرات انا استغرب يوم اسير مكان اكون مبند الباب في المكتب الثاني صوت البنية عالي بس ترمس في التليفون. So it's very important to be aware that you are a woman, you need to be soft, you need to take care of yourself, you need to be as like a drop of water and you need to be transparent. خواتي واخواني ما في احلى من الصراحة. There is nothing better than being transparent. Be yourself. Till today, I have no locked drawer or a cupboard. ليل يوم ما عندي سدة أكفلها ولا كبد أكفله. ليش خواتي؟ ما في أحلى من الصراحة، ما في أحلى من الصدق. ما في شيء يخليك تكذبين ولا تلفين وتدورين. إذا حسيتي نفسك في هذا الموقف and you felt that at that time you cannot be transparent, go out. Don't go forward in that step. Make sure, and I'm telling you that it is not the right way. There is something fishy or wrong is going on. So try to be transparent as much as possible. You can maintain your femininity and maintain your path through your career. Water are very essential for life, sustainability. So make sure everybody will know that you are very precious, like a drop of water. And again, as a drop of water, we have to be and make sure that we are strong. As you know, a drop of water, what does, what it could do to a stone? It can, you know, how the drop of water is strong enough and persisting on the same side. It can do something which an ordinary stick cannot do. This is one of the achievements which I'm so proud of and I would like to share it with you. Go, going back in 2006, I was so, so much involved in a project called UAE Free of Thalassemia 2012. And brought, I, I came to this point simply because I knew that some, somewhere like Cyprus for the past 23 years, there is no single child born with thalassemia. Simply because they did that awareness and they made sure there is a screening before anybody get married on their land. So at that time, nothing was there. And I'm proudly saying that I was one of the reason that the pre-marital investigation law and legislation is approved by the cabinet. And I was honored enough to be uh, 
at that time in the cabinet meeting where they approved this legislation. I didn't do it alone, but I started, and I had a very good team who believed in what we are doing. And now nobody's getting married in United Arab Emirates unless they will be screened for common genetic disorder. We started in 2007, and I wanted only 3,600 samples and volunteers to come forward to be examined and to see the level of that genetic disease in UAE. Imagine, I put the deadline on 12-12-2012. Even before 2009, I achieved my target. 3,600 was the need, but I'm so proud to say that so far we were able to screen 11,208. And with that, we, it's, it's a sample from all over United Arab Emirates, from Abu Dhabi to Fijera. How much we saved money for the country and how many cases we were able to diagnose. As you see, among the 11,281 sample, 478 of them were, affected, were carrying the, disease, the gene of thalassemia, which will increase the chance of their new generation to be affected with the disease. 202 with sickle cell, 219 with G6PD. And that cost us only four million and a half. Then I went to Dubai Health Authority. I told them, can you tell me in 2007, the cost of managing one of these cases, how much cost you? The cost was 35,850. I multiplied by those numbers, which, are, which we diagnose, and they won't be severing anymore. You can imagine how much we saved money for the country. And this is annual base, and not considering the other cost of uh, social support as well. We saved 32 million dirham while we spent only four million and a half. This is another achievement which we were able to do. This is one of the slides which I will end my presentation with. I do apologize, I took two, three minutes, but I was under the effect of Dr. Abdullah in the beginning. Uh, we were honored enough this year. Our center, it's located in Dubai. It's uh, mainly about genetic research. And our uh, uh, president, His Highness Sheikh Nhayyan, we do all the tests free of charge for, for whoever living in UAE. Uh, they need to have a residential visa, and His Highness will take care of all the costs of this uh, screening. So we've done those screening, and our lab is recognized by three international research centers. And uh, in one of the meetings uh, in conference, I was talking about our lab in more uh, scientific uh, presentation, where I was honored enough to have five Nobel laureates having an interest to come and visit our small lab. This even not come in a dream, you know? You can have one or two, but not five of them. They came all the way, and they visited our small lab. I will end, up, uh, I will end this uh, talk with their comment they spend an hour in our small center, and they said UAE GDA is a spot of light in Arab world in, in genetic research. And five of them, they sign on the guest book. That's all what I can say, and I do apologize if I was not focused in the beginning. Thank you very much.